Over the decades, Japan has earned itself a reputation for producing some of the most spine-tingling, blood-curdling, stomach-turning horror in cinema. From adaptations of modern literary classics to grotesque animated nightmares and the J-horror surge of the early 2000s, horror aficionados have been well-serviced by the Japanese film industry. In this video, we'll go over just the very tip of the iceberg with our countdown of the top 10 Japanese horror films. 10. Tetsuo the Iron Man from 1989 Shinya Tsukamoto's Tetsuo is a bizarre and landmark body horror from Asian cinema. Shot on grainy 16mm black and white, the 67-minute film doesn't care much about plot or character development. The frenzied pace, outlandish shots, and body horror imagery have the power to evoke nightmares. The pulse-pounding industrial score adds to the spooky audio-visual experience. Tetsuo, however, isn't solely designed to deliver a horrific experience. It deals with paranoia, anxiety, and fear in a world overly reliant on technology. 9. Kotoko from 2011 The severely disturbing psychological horror Kotoko will be a polarizing movie experience for horror buffs. Like every other work of visionary director Shinya Tsukamoto, the film will draw awe and hatred in equal measure. Kotoko follows the mental breakdown of a single mother played by J-pop artist Koko. She suffers from double vision and is unable to differentiate between reality and delusion. Driven by paranoia, Kotoko becomes increasingly violent with people who she believes would harm her. Tsukamoto's highly subjective documentation of the protagonist's breakdown blurs the line between reality and delusion for the audience too. Koko delivers a phenomenal performance in the titular character. We deeply share her uncertainties and fractured state of consciousness. Number 8. A Page of Madness from 1926 Tinosuke Kinogasa's abstract silent horror was a rare early Japanese film to break away from conventions. Based on a story idea by Nobel Prize winning author Yasunari Kawabata, A Page of Madness was inspired by German expressionist films. The story revolves around a janitor working in a mental asylum where his wife is locked up. The film is full of startling imagery and could be termed a surrealistic horror. The lack of intertitles also confuses us as the narrative blurs the boundaries between delusion and reality. 7. Battle Royale Battle Royale is one of the most controversial films of all time. Based on the 1999 novel by Koshun Takami, the film is set in a not-too-distant dystopian future where unemployment and population have reached unmanageable levels. The authoritarian government comes up with the Millennium Educational Reformation Act. Under the act, a class of 14-year-old Japanese schoolchildren are forced to participate in a gruesome survival program. Only one of the 42 ninth graders will emerge victorious. Director Kinji Fukasaku perfectly balances black comedy and spine-chilling horror. Battle Royale was supposed to be a satire on the brutally competitive Japanese education system. On a broader note though, the film came across as an allegory for the conformist totalitarian state. 6. Audition from 1999 The prolific Japanese director Takashi Miike is labelled as the master of extreme and gory horror, but he's also capable of making complex, slow-burn psycho horrors like Audition. The film revolves around a lonely, middle-aged widower, Shigeharu Aoyama. With the help of his television producer friend, Shigeharu conducts a fake audition to find a suitable companion for himself. A woman named Asami Yamazaki catches Shigeharu's attention and soon he becomes obsessed with her. But Asami is scarred by deeper psychological wounds from her past, pushing Shigeharu to embark on a disquieting journey. Audition has one of the most shocking violent scenes in cinematic history, but until the deranged moments in the end, Mike unsettles us with the ambiguous characterization of Asami. Overall, Audition is a terrifying examination of social isolation. Number 5. Kwaidan from 1964 Masaki Kabayashi is a humanist filmmaker who made masterpieces like Human Condition Trilogy and Harakiri. In 1964, Kabayashi made his magnum opus Kwaidan, an anthology of four ghost stories. All four tales explore humans' relationship with nature, the relationship between men and women, and the conflict between our material needs and spiritual quest. Kwaidan was largely shot inside a studio and was known for its painterly backdrops, created by art director Shigemasa Toda. In fact, it was the most expensive Japanese film of its time. Kobayashi maintains a haunting atmosphere throughout and offers quite a few unforgettable spooky moments. Legendary composer Toru Takamitsu's intriguing soundtrack further elevates the narrative. Number 4. Ringu or The Ring from 1998 Hideo Nakata's Ringu, aka The Ring, is the breakout hit of J-horror cinema, the late 90s, early 2000s wave of Japanese horror that swept through the West. The film introduced modern global audiences to a lot of the Japanese horror tropes, vengeful ghosts, ancient curses. 
based on Koji Suzuki's 1991 novel of the same name, The Ring revolves around an urban legend about a cursed VHS tape. The tape is said to kill its viewer seven days after they've watched it. The film successfully blends old Japanese folktales about onryo, vengeful spirits, with modern technology-based obsessions. Director Nakata created a new aesthetic to incorporate the traditional horror elements of a kaiden. The creepy sound design and genuinely scary atmosphere deliver the chills while also staying away from graphic violence. Number 3. Onibaba from 1964 Kanato Shindo made movies for six decades, directing his last film Postcard at 98. The director is best known for his intense psychosexual movies, which he made during the 1960s. One such masterpiece was Onibaba, an erotic horror set in feudal-era Japan. The film focuses on two peasant women who struggle to survive in 14th century war-torn Japan. Despair and poverty push the mother and daughter-in-law to murder some samurai deserters. They sell the dead samurai's armor and weapons for a bag of grain. Things turn dire when their uncouth neighbor, Hachi, returns from war. Blinded by fear, jealousy, and anger, the older of the two women commits an ever more despicable act. Unlike the ghost stories of Nakagawa and Kobayashi, Shindo shot his film on location. Kiyomi Kuroda's outstanding cinematography turns the windy grasslands of the countryside into a deeply scary atmosphere. 2. Cure from 1997 The multifaceted Kiyoshi Kurosawa helped reinvent the Japanese horror genre. His works eschew genre cliches and offer a meticulous exploration of aberrant psychological states. Cure opens like a serial killer thriller. Detective Kenichi Takabe investigates different cases of mutilated bodies with slashes of an X. However, the perpetrators are different in each case, and strangely enough, these perpetrators don't remember committing the crime. Soon, Detective Takabe comes across a young amnesiac drifter who seems to be behind the killings. Kurosawa defies the horror genre norm by staging the most disturbing scenes in broad daylight and through static, wide or long shots. The cold detachment combined with inscrutable characterization only makes the ensuing effect more chilling. Cure is a profoundly dark examination of evil and madness. And number one, Godzilla from 1954. And we've arrived. It's easy to forget, after decades of kid-friendly sequels, cartoons, and parodies, that Godzilla started as a straight-up horror film and one of the great monster flicks. Godzilla was originally a metaphor for the atomic age, portrayed as a prehistoric sea monster that's awakened and empowered by nuclear testing. Director Ishiro Honda meticulously builds anticipation before focusing on Godzilla's rampage through Tokyo City. Honda's ability to create a disquieting, eerie tone and the black and white cinematography create a somber and effective metaphor for nuclear folly. Overall, the film is an indictment of irresponsible science that casually annihilates and victimizes millions of humans. And there we are, wrapping up our list of the best Japanese horror films. Of course, we weren't able to cover all the worthy horror genre titles from Japan. For more great entries, check out our full list of the 25 greatest Japanese horror films on our website. Over to you now, what are your favorite Japanese horror films? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Flickside for more great film content.